Fit tip number 12 for 2018. Do Turkish get-ups. These kind of look a little bit easy when you first see them, but any of my clients would tell you to do about four or five, and they can be incredibly tough. Turkish get-ups are one of my favorite exercises because they do so much for you. It's a full body exercise. You're gonna hit your arms, your legs, and really your core, but it's also really great for working on balance, overall stability, mobility. By holding a weight up overhead the whole time, you have to work a lot on shoulder stability, and shoulder injuries can be a really big problem, obviously. That's a very common thing, so that helps to really build about the stability in your shoulder. Doing that at the same time really causes you to work your core and you're keeping your eyes up on the bell the whole time. So it makes it very difficult to maintain balance and stability. So it's really great for working that. And then all of the movement with your legs is kind of almost like a lunge as you're getting up and down. So it hits your whole body, but it's also really great for flexibility and mobility. All that movement kind of helps to open up tight hips, shoulders, back. It's really great for just getting your whole body moving in conjunction, moving together, and getting everything kind of opened up and mobile and flexible. I love doing these as a warm-up with a lighter weight, kind of like I do in this video, or going really heavy to make it a really tough exercise. And you'll find the heavier you go, the more your heart rate's going to get up to. So you kind of get a little bit of a cardio boost at the same time as you're building muscle, core strength, and stability. So this is a great way to even just start your morning, to get your body kind of moving and fluid and blood flowing and open up all those tight areas. But it's also great to do during a workout. It could almost be your entire workout. If you just wanted to do a ton of get-ups, you're gonna really tax your whole body by doing these. So add these into your routine. I'm sure you will love them. Maybe not love the actual exercise, but you'll love the benefits of them. So make sure to try them and leave a comment below letting me know what you think about them. So you're gonna start lying down on a mat, all the way down. A kettlebell is gripped firmly in the middle of your palm and it's straight up overhead towards the ceiling. The opposite leg is gonna be bent and the same leg that's holding the weight is gonna be straight. Other arm is on the ground for support. So your first move is to press straight up, keeping the weight up towards the ceiling, not letting your arm fall forward, and you're gonna kinda of lean on that elbow. Press up into a seated position. From there, you're gonna pull your front straight leg in just a bit and pull your back leg underneath you and push up through your hand so that your legs kind of form a 90 degree angle. Then you're gonna kick your back leg backwards so you're in a low lunge position and then step up all the way, keeping your eyes up on the kettlebell and bring your feet together. From there, you're just reversing the whole thing back down. So you're gonna step backward into a lunge, kick that back leg in so you've got a 90 degree angle with your legs and then you're gonna kind of swoop that leg through until you're back to seated, and then you're gonna lie all the way back down and start again. Start with about three to four on each side and work your way up to five, six, even 10. And as that gets easy, then you can increase weight. 